How you going everyone? Today I'm going to show you my uh, Oat Cream IPA beer review. Um, it's been about three months since I've done a video upload um, and I filmed this one about three months ago as well. So um, that keg is long gone, but um, check out the recipe and also check out the review uh, which is coming up next. Cheers. <music> recap on the ingredients that I've used. Uh, malts I used were Marisota, wheat, carapils, acid malt, melanoidin, and I used oats. Uh, lots of oats. <laughs> uh, hops used were Amarillo in the boil. Uh, for the Whirlpool I used Amarillo, Cashmere, and Cryocitra. Uh, and then for dry hops I used Cashmere, Vic Secret, and Cryocitra as well. Um, I also used 400 grams of lactose uh, after the boil, so I just mixed that in once everything was done just before the whirlpool, mixed it all in, um, and I did add a little bit of dextrose. Um, I don't have how many, how much I used here, but I did use a little bit. Um, yeast used was East Coast Ale. That was a White Labs yeast. Um, the yeast was out of date by about six months, so when I first bought it, I just never used it. I then kept it in the fridge, um, watched a few videos, and you can actually still use the yeast. Um, it's just not preferred. But the yeast came well. I chucked it into a two liter starter, got it mixed up, and then I was a little bit concerned when I tipped it into the fermenter because it didn't kick off straight away. But after about 24 hours, it started going and gave me, gave me hope. So it, it fermented well and the beer turned out beautifully. Um, starting gravity 1074, final was 1018, and I got a 7.3% ABV. So I'm gonna go pour a beer, I'll be right back. All right, here we go, look at that. So I don't know if the, I've got the camera facing me, so I don't know how well that's gonna focus on the, on the beer. So hopefully that, that looks good in the picture. Um, for colour, I guess you, it looks like a bloody, like a mango and orange juice, like it's quite, it's quite a dark orange in appearance. Um, head retention, my carbonation, it, the carbonation is in there, but the head just sort of, it lightens out a bit um, straight after you pour it. So even with the lactose in there, it's not very creamy and fluffy and like with all the oats as well, it's just... It's sort of added to the body more than it has to the head. Um, and the carbonation, as I said, was um, the carbonation is in there. It's, it's not super active. It's just, it's, it seems to hold well within the beer. Um, let's give it a sniff for some aroma. Oh, there's heaps of mango and orange in this. Oh, that's, that's pretty much what I get when I smell it. And there's definitely pineapple and passion fruit. Like it's it's a little fruit bowl, fruit punch. It's um it smells amazing. So I'm gonna just give it a give it a sip straight away. Oh yeah. Mmm. Heaps of mango, heaps of pineapple, heaps of passion fruit, and also like a little bit of melon as well. Um, bitterness is quite medium it's it's medium to high um even though i did do little boil additions the hoppiness the hop oil seemed to have come through a lot from the from the hops in the in the additions and the sorry in the dry additions and in the whirlpools um but that's a good balance of bitterness mm. good mouthfeel silky velvety and also like you get that, the carbonation as well, that, that fuzziness from the carbonation. Um, for a finish, <clears throat> it's juicy as hell. Like I just, you can keep belting that all day long. Currently at the moment, it's Christmas holidays. We're in the middle of summer and I, I'd be surprised if I have a couple of pints of this left uh, at the end. Um, but for final thoughts, 
overall great flavor everything shown through of what i wanted out of this beer um, all the fruit came through so i'm getting as again i got that pineapple that passion fruit that mango orange it's all just coming through there soft mouth feel bubbly and fuzzy on the inside overall for the style that i wanted and it's hazy does have the lactose in it so does, you know for those people who are dairy intolerant probably can't drink it um so you could probably skip that step and and go ahead with it without without the lactose overall this beer is easy eight and a half out of ten easy hands down one of my best beers thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the video uh, if you haven't already please like subscribe and um check out my instagram as well at chewy brewing um you know I, I only do this as a hobby um i love all the feedback that i get from people and i love the community that comes with the beer uh, craft beer and home brewing world as well so um thanks guys have a safe uh, Christmas and Happy New Year and catch you on the next video. Cheers.